Hi, I'm Yunu and welcome back to episode 34 of Regrowth. I just planted some of my skeleton seeds, which are now maxed out. Oh, accidentally clicked, but whatever. Uh, I had two seeds, so I just put one on each side. And yeah, that whole field will be just the skeleton seeds because bones are useful. Also, I added another field here over here once our coal seeds are ready. And now uh, I noticed uh, with the crucible furnace. So first we need a fluid tank below it with lava in it and we also need a second block of this. So I already get gathered the resources for that. So we don't have to watch that. Here we go. So the coal over here, the clay in there. And here we go. We might have to make more iron bars. But that's fine. So, crucible furnace. Where is it? This? Here. Oh, also we need another fluid tank. We should have enough copper. Yeah. Some glass. And some wood. Oh, we... I intended to make two, but apparently we already get two from the recipe. But well... So, brick construction block. Also we need the bucket of lava, which I don't have right now. So, moving over here. I knew I forgot something. Here we go. Alright, and so now two bricks here, lava bucket up, up above, and the carbines right here, nice. Now we have the crucible furnace. Right here, and there it forms the multi-block structure, and now it, it has the interface I wanted. So we can put ore up here now. Is it using my lava? It's using my lava. But it's using very little of the lava. Huh. Fine. So let's just get some tin here and copper and let's just check if that works like I want. Yeah, I messed it up, I know. Okay, here, copper and, no, tin and copper. Melting point 232. Oh, I see, it um, increases in temperature. And once that happens, and right, so the lava isn't wasted like I thought initially. Well, okay. I see. All right, we will let that heat up. Meanwhile, we should now be able to claim the quest. Nope. Okay, we need a block caster and a ladle. Ladle. Ladle is copper, I think. The block caster might be this. Nope. Ingot caster is already here. Let's just look it up. Block caster. I was close. 
pretty close. All right. The ladle, maybe like this or this. Nope. Ladle. Meh. Meh. All right. I almost had it. It's just that it has to be in the center like this. All right. But now we should be able to finish it. Yep. So we, what will we want? Clay brick, uh, burnt bricks or lava? I think we want lava. Wait. Why do you not read? You get both. Every time. All right, so the lava buckets, I might as well put into a tank right now. Or maybe the tank over here, there. And let's put some more tanks here. So do these. No, they don't work with each other. So yeah, just all the lava in there. All right, so how hot is this? Hot enough for the tin to melt. Okay. So it's melting them into ingots now. So we have three. So it's not a doubling them. Because you know, if it's doubling them, it couldn't be a number like three. Okay, so it gives a few nuggets more. So I guess one and a half times is what it looks like. All right, so how do we get the molten tin out of there? Maybe using pipes? Fluid pipes. Yep. Um, we need to make another engine. There's a levers here. Cobblestone. All right. Engine. This one. So we need two pistons and then we make the engines. That was fast. No, we just need more levers. Okay. So I want to use the ingot caster. Actually, I wanted to check if this would make bronze. So we should let it heat up to a thousand eight hundred uh a thousand eighty five. Yeah. Or well we could just check if it works. The ingot casts us right here. Well it does connect, so Not there. Here. Okay, the engine here. And the lever. So does it work? Yes, it does. Stop. It's full. And just go back in. No, doesn't look like it. So just a tiny bit more there. That's too much again. Well, crap. Oh, 
There are my ingots. Okay, so it it's half half of the ingots. Hmm. Oh, well, I could just do this. Um, just turn it around. There we go. That should do it. Yep. Nice. Oh, it even did half. It made the two it could into ingots. But it's nice. All right. So, how is this going? Uh, it needs a bit more time. All right. I just put it directly here. Then there shouldn't be as much leftovers in the pipe. Hmm. All right. Is there anything in the book? So searing heat. Now we can make seared bricks. So when we put cobblestone into the crucible furnace. We get seared bricks, which we then can use to make our smeltery, which we wanted to make a few episodes ago. That's cool. Well, I have to wait until this is working. Okay, okay. Smith of the year. An anvil and a blacksmith hammer. Alright, let's do it. What does the anvil need? An anvil. No, that's not how you write anvil. Here. Blacksmith anvil. Burnt bricks, nether brick, and three brick construction blocks. That's not hard. Uh, there's not any iron around here. Well, I sh should be fine with what I have. Oh, and there's even more bars around here. Nice. All right. These. So I need three. Yep. Then I also need four of this. And the last thing was just a burnt brick? No. No, that's the wrong one. Ah, just three burnt bricks. Okay, anvil is done. What about the hammer? So two nether bricks, so eight of the bricks. There we go. That was it. Here we go. Getting an upgrade. So I guess this works like like a pick in a somewhat way. Right, so that's done. Do we want nether bricks or a blacksmith assistant? Let's check how hard it's to make the blacksmith assistant. Uh, black smith assistant that's not hard in that way well I guess it's annoying to make but me the melting point is almost at 
the copper. Come on. Just 40 degree more. over and I don't think it's working nope it does not look like it all right I guess that's it so we will really need the smeltery which we will make next episode because it's time to wrap up. Well, thank you for watching. We've made more bro progress in this pack. So, yeah. Next time we'll make the smeltery. And, yeah. See you!